Today, we are going to be learning about safety rules. Because you are our friends and we want to keep you safe. Today's video, we're going to learn about fire safety, road safety, water safety, and stranger danger. So let's begin with fire safety. House fires can spread very fast. So let's go over some helpful tips that can help if you ever hear the scary sound of the fire alarm or fire in some place you might be at. Many children can get scared or confused. So the big important thing is to not try to hide somewhere like a closet or under the bed. Always, always, always go to the safe place, which we will talk about more in a moment. Never, ever, ever go back inside a burning house for something you thought you forgot. Once you're outside and safe, you need to stay out. Practice a fire escape plan at day and at night. A fire can happen at any time. And choose a place to meet outside that is far away from your home to be safe. Practice escaping in less than two minutes. Sometimes that is all the time you will have to get out of the house safely. And if there is a lot of smoke, crawl low to the ground and get out of the house as quickly as you can. Only call 911 once you are safely outside of your home. Families should always make sure that you have a smoke alarm on every level of your home or apartment, inside bedrooms, and near anywhere you sleep. If you hear a beep from your smoke alarms that goes off every 20 to 30 seconds, you need to make sure to change the batteries. And you should also test smoke alarms every month and replace smoke alarms every 10 years. And also, you should make sure your windows in rooms are not stuck closed and you can easily remove screens if you need to escape from a window. If you ever find yourself in a fire, never open a door right away. Always touch the door first to see if there's heat. If it feels hot, you need to try to find another way out. You may think I would never catch on fire, but it can happen anywhere, even when you are just roasting marshmallows over a fire. And I know this may sound weird, but if you ever find yourself caught on fire, always remember to stop, drop, and roll. Fire may be a nice thing to see and sit around like a campfire, but fire is also very dangerous. So always, always, always make sure you are careful and never ever play with lighters or matches. And you won't believe how fast fires can get out of control, even a fire that starts very small. That's the end of our fire safety tips. Now we're going to move on to traffic safety tips. Some children may have to walk to the school or the bus stop and back, so it is good to know your signals, as well as what to look for when walking on roads. Green means go. Vehicles move ahead only when the light on the signal turns green. Red means that all the vehicles have to stop. And yellow means vehicles should start to slow down and prepare to stop because the light is going to turn red. If you're walking across a street by a traffic light, never cross if the sign says, don't walk, or if the walking man symbol turns red. And sometimes a hand symbol is used instead of the walking man or walk signal. And even if it says you can walk, you should always look both ways first to make sure that there are no cars or trucks coming that may not be paying attention to the actual traffic light signal. If there is a vehicle coming, wait for it to pass and then cross the road. Never walk out from in between two parked cars on the side of the road or parking lot and never cross the street if there is a bend in the road. You may not be able to see a car coming and they will not be able to see you either. Always listen for engine sounds near you to know if there is a vehicle coming 
that you may not see. And some of you watching this right now may live on a street where you can play in your neighborhood, ride bikes, or even play ball, but never run across a busy road and where there is a lot of traffic. Not every street has them, but if they are there, you should always use sidewalks when walking on the road. If there are no sidewalks, walk on the side of the road to face oncoming traffic. This way you can see the cars and they can see you and you can move over. If you walk with traffic, which means on the same side, you may not be able to hear or see the cars coming and they may not be able to see you, especially if there is a hill or bend in the road. The most important thing is to be seen. If a car or truck can't see you easily, you may be unsafe. Wear light colored clothes or reflective material if you're walking or riding a bike at night. And this is also why bicycles have reflectors on them. But don't only rely on a bicycle's reflectors to let a vehicle know you're on a bike. Make sure you're wearing bright colors to stay safe even more. Now let's move on to our next safety list, swimming. If you're anything like Cadence and Quinn, they love to go swimming, but swimming can also be dangerous. So here are a few safety tips to keep you safe as well. If you are swimming in a big pool, ocean, or lake, you should only try to swim when there is a lifeguard on duty. Lifeguards don't just watch the people in the pool, lake, or ocean. They also watch the water and advise swimmers on any safety concerns and questionable conditions that might arise. It is also a good idea for children as well as adults to use the buddy system when they go swimming. Don't swim alone. Always bring someone with you, especially someone older or an adult. And you should always make sure an adult or grown-up is watching you when you swim. If you happen to see a friend struggling to keep their head above water, don't jump in the water to help them. This is a very common mistake and you're going to learn why in just a second. Yep, I know that may sound strange to you, but you should always think of what the YMCA says in their Safety Around Water program. They recommend reach, throw, don't go. Use a long object to pull the swimmer who is struggling to safety so you can help your friend but also keep yourself safe too. And in shallow water, you should always walk or enter the water with your feet first. It is not safe to dive or jump in shallow water. You can get hurt very bad. Swimming is very fun. It's great exercise and it's exciting to do with friends and family. But just like fire, you should always pay attention while having fun. For our last safety tip in this video, we are going to talk about stranger danger. And the best definition of a stranger is someone that we don't know or someone that we don't know very well. Never go anywhere with a stranger or do anything for a stranger. That's right, Quinn. It doesn't matter what they say to you. You should always tell your parents or an adult or grown-up who cares for you anytime someone you don't know tries to talk to you or ask you for help. Even though they may seem very nice or offer you something like candy, ice cream, or say they have a puppy in their car or house, never ever go alone. Always bring a grown-up. Always talk to the adult or grown-up that is with you and watching you that someone came up and talked to you. If you ever feel like a stranger is following you, you need to know safe places you can go. And if you feel like you are being followed, Go to a police station, a fire station, the library, or even a store or a friend's house that's nearby. You should also have a secret code word you come up with with your parent and never go with anyone unless they know the secret code word. 
And here are some other things that you should never do. Never tell anyone you were home alone or mention it to your friends when there could be strangers who can hear you. And never tell anyone that calls on the phone your name, house number, or street address. Always stay close to the grown-up you are with. Don't wander around, especially in large places like carnivals, big stores, malls, and more. If you ever do get lost, make sure you know your name, your address, and your mom or dad or grown-up's telephone number so that somebody can call. If you do get lost, you can look for a safe person. And a safe person, believe it or not, is a stranger, but it's somebody that you can usually trust. Like another mom or dad with their children, a store clerk in a uniform, a police officer, or even a security guard. Always remember there are a lot of very nice people that are strangers, but there are also some that are not. There really is no way to know who is or who isn't a bad person. So always make sure you follow these rules to keep yourself as safe as possible. We hope these safety tips help keep you safe as well as teach you something you may not have known. If they did, make sure you share them with a friend or even share this video. It's always good to be safe and discover new ways to stay as safe as you can. Thanks for watching and make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out our channel. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye. Stay safe.